Right guys, welcome to another episode of Total Carping. We've returned to Willow Park Fishery, the uh, lake that we were at last weekend on bank holiday. Uh, we did pretty well. We've plotted up exactly the same swim. I've got Joe with me. Uh, I, I brought Joe along again. You may have seen him in the Fort Lee episode. Um, he had a few fish then, so hopefully we're going to get him a, a few, few today. We've got 24 hours, so plenty of time. Uh, just showing Joe the ropes. I've already had a fish. Um, a fish that I was, while I was helping Joe set up his rods. A lovely 17 pound comma with a little black eye. Um, so yeah, things are looking good, brilliant conditions. Uh, we're meant to be in for a little bit of rain during the night, but that's not going to put us off. Brilliant fishing weather, as I said. So uh, fingers crossed we'll get a few. So we'll see you shortly. Right, there we go, what an absolute stunning mirror. Lovely pearly scales on this one, probably about a mid-double. Um, just had this one on the running chod, it's now about seven o'clock in the morning. We've had nothing throughout the night, so it's been pretty uneventful until now, but we were rewarded with an absolute stunner. Let's get her back. Well, how about that for a pristine mirror? Not very big this time, probably about 11 or 12 pound, but what an absolute stunner he is. He's a little bit lively. Um, this came no longer than 30 minutes after the last fish. So uh, obviously the fish are in front of me. They're all falling to the, the 16 mil peanut cly pop ups from individual baits. And, uh, but this time this one was on the hinge diff rig. Let's get him back. Right, there we go. Uh, Joe's left hand rod has just pulled up tight and he's got this lovely mid-double common. Absolutely nailed. This fish looks like it's never been caught before. It's got that curtain of skin in its mouth. Top angling, mate. He's borrowed a couple of my uh, pineapple pop-ups, pina colada by um, individual baits. I didn't see you take those, mate. You should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good angling, mate. Played it well. He's heading for the snags at one point. We're getting back now. Your fish. Well happy with that. Right, there we go, an absolutely stunning common. This looks like a really young fish, probably only about nine or 10 pound. Caught on the long range mark again. All I'm doing is feeling for a soft drop um, and that's doing the business really. I don't want to be fishing on a hard bottom at all because I think that's what everyone else does and it seems to be uh, giving me the rewards. Definitely, definitely fishing the silt. Beautiful common. Gave me a really good fight as well. Let's get her back. There you go mate, 21 pound on the button, hinge stiff rig does it again. Pina colada pop up, just whacked out of range. Good angling mate, well played. Good Let's get mate. some photos done. Right there we go, an absolute scale perfect common. Probably mid to upper double this fish. Absolutely cracking condition. Really good fight as well like they've all been. Let's get it back, absolutely blind. Right, there we go, what an absolute chunk. 22 pounds eight of pure common carp. This one literally took it on the drop, only cast it out probably about two minutes before that. Just on one of those 16 mil pina colada pop-ups again. Yellow just seems to be the color on here. But that has made my day. We've had three 20s in a 24 hour session, so you can't grumble at that. This one's like a breeze block. Really heavy, this fish. Let's get a bat. Right guys, just a little quick update. Um, sorry there hasn't been much footage of, of other bits and pieces. It's made mainly fish, which I suppose I can't complain about. It's been so hectic this morning. As I said, nothing throughout the night. As soon as it hit seven o'clock, uh, the rods just kept, kept on going. Um, it's now one o'clock now. We're thinking of knocking it, knocking it on the head in the next hour or so. We're just waiting to see if we can get one more fish for Joe. Um, 
and yeah, I think it's just a combination of a few things that have, have made this uh, session successful. I think I've sharpened my hooks after each fish, made sure that they're absolutely pin sharp. Um, I've made sure that I, I'm feeling it down on a soft bottom every cast. If I'm not happy with it or if I don't feel a drop, I'll redo it. I just want ni a nice soft fud, that's what I'm looking for. I don't want to, I don't want to crack, um, which obviously indicates gravel, but I'm, I'm fishing in the sill probably at about 70 yards out. Um, and the rod that's done the business mostly is the hinge stiff rig with a pineapple pop-up. Um, so yeah, been really successful so far. Hopefully in the next hour we'll be able to get another one for Joe. So uh, hopefully we'll see you shortly. Right guys, unfortunately it looks like we're coming to the end of the session now. Um, unfortunately, literally like two minutes ago, Joe just lost a fish. Uh, the left arm rod pulled up tight yet again. Just seems to be doing all the bites at the moment. It's gone a little bit quiet on the chod, um, but the hinge just producing as it usually does. Little, something a little bit interesting, in the last session when we were here I, I had the hinge diff out on a white pop up and nothing. In this session I thought I'd try it on the yellow and uh, it's worked. So the fish obviously love yellow in here. They're going crazy. Over here, they? Yeah, absolutely crazy. Um, and as Joe said, I was talking to Joe earlier and he said that fish was literally on the drop, my 22.8 common. So yeah, it's been a really good session. We've had some decent fish. All of the fish have been in absolute mint condition and they fought really hard. Can't fault this place really. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you next time and uh, we'll catch you later.